Hello, I'm making this in response to a page on Astronomy for Kids, Universe Origins. It starts by claiming everything that exists, exists in this universe. This reminds me of the great debate in astronomy. For the noobs out there, that's the debate whether the Milky Way galaxy is all there is. Now we know that's wrong. But more on that on episode 2. The point is, that's just plain wrong. And the caption says the Big Bang happened long before star formation did. And at the end it asks what came before the Big Bang. I'm here to answer both in one massive theory. Start with the pre-universe. This word was first created by the Doctor Who community to reference the universe that existed before us. Where the Cthulhu and the Great Intelligence and the Nesting Consciousness's mom called home. Doctor Who claimed it had different physical laws from ours, such as a green void. My theory does not. In fact, it requires identical laws. First, let's take a look at the universe itself. Wait, we were already doing that. In any case, some scientists with a big telescope found background radiation from the Big Bang to ultimately prove the Big Bang theory itself. Later, space telescopes have used this radiation, narrow the age of the universe down to around 13 billion years. Some scientists who did not live in space and were not robots deduced that the so-called Methuselah star was around 16 billion years old. They have since changed their minds, but may not have been impossible anyway. You see, some people say the Big Bang involved everything crunched down to the size of an atom. This is true, but misleading. You see, it was not matter crunched down, but space. And this journey takes us back to the article. Ask how everything ended up in that singularity. The answer is provided by M-theory, which claims all universes are vast rotating brains. When two universes collide is known as a Big Bang. Therefore, a point that is a valley in the curves of the membrane should experience this cosmic rebirth first, if first is the right word to use here. At the beginning of the universe, everything was energy. This includes electromagnetic radiation. So a picture of a wave of light traveling outwards, eliminating everything in its path. So how would a star survive that? Two words, black holes. Black holes are places where such high mass and such low volume Light cannot escape. In fact, given the parallel universe theory, they could be gates to alternate universes. More about that in episode 3. If so, if a black hole can sue Methuselah, Methuselah could be partially preserved in, in a parallel universe. For equations show that time as we know it began at the Big Bang, or did it? Perhaps time simply stopped and then started again. In that case, it would have destroyed the black hole in that part of the star. But after the wave of light passed and our universe existed, the, the wormhole may have reformed, bringing back the star. If so, it would still have ex evidence it was created billions of years ago. And if that could happen naturally, a sufficiently advanced civilization could initiate this artificially, in which case everything I describe may repeat many times, resulting in an empire older and greater than the universe. Just like Scientology. But there's an easier way to do that, which I will describe next time. If you've watched this much, you must really like this video. Then try liking, commenting, and subscribing. Tell me what you want me to do the next video on. I'll upload something every week. It could be this or a Let's Play of Minecraft. I'm currently doing a walkthrough of Empirecraft where you guys will give me challenges as I forge an empire across my Minecraft world. Stick around to check it out, so see you later! Or in the words of one particular person, LATER!